and he's playing Vidit, and here we see the young Pragan and Ant against them. Yeah, as you said, the outsider. Um, Burkhaz from Hungary, and um, don't underestimate this guy. This guy's got nothing to lose, right? I mean, he's come all this way. He's got a nice pay packet. If he loses this game, okay, everyone expects him to, but he's a really experienced this game. Yes, so we have an advanced variation on the board. Um, it's not, I mean, the French is so popular at the top level, and we've seen Magnus play it mm -hmm. quite a lot recently. Um, still, it's uh, definitely opening up the game to be, like, I think, a more sharp right. um, than, for example, E45. So we have the advanced variation, and I think that is pretty much Burkish's repertoire, though. I kind of recall him being a French player. Uh, yeah, I think he's made of Henry's Kronka, wow. if I'm not mistaken, because I've played twice against him, and I, I kind of remember this from my old preparation against him. But, uh, well, Kronka and French, those players like to play this type of setup or structure. Mm -hmm. And White played the three against Queen, he's like Bishop D7, and D4. So, yeah, there's a trade on D4, White's gonna recapture. And I kind of remember in these lines, like, you know, when the bishop goes to be 2 to protect this pawn, there's this kind of tactical idea of using the, the pin on the four pawn to try to get the knight to support. So I guess here, something like knight 7 um, okay, would make sense, but he goes for rook c8. Mm, yeah, and, uh, bishop b2 is on the board, so d9, a5, he just simply Oh, knight bd2. Yeah, well, 95 definitely is a move that you want to examine. And then just take on c4 Because that's a big square, yeah, 92. And so you're saying, like, if I come in with my knight, then I can just take it and then go c4. I'll take it with. Oh, we can make c1. That one will be. Oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, you're going to try. I can try the bishop. Bishop is like a b4. The b1 is going to hang. Oh, thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. Okay, but he does not go for knight 8. Five goes for knight seven. seven. Yeah. Going to f five. Yeah, first he wants to develop the knight. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Frog has here. Towers are brilliant attacking player. But actually, Towers endings were fantastic as well. You 
can't, you can't just be like an expert in one area. You have to be an expert in all areas at this level. And I can't see anything that Mike can do here. I mean, this rook is attacked. What can you do? You have to give up the exchange somehow, but that would be a very easily lost ending. For example, you have to get rid of this pawn. If this happens, well, I'll just take it. I'll exchange up. And I will eventually win in quite a standard and easy way. There's nothing to worry about with my rook behind the passport. That's where you want your rook behind the passport. One little trick, if you go bishop b4, maybe don't play d5 because all of a sudden, boom, and we were thinking that probably b7 was great. Yeah, we can see on screen that Simon that Prague has oh, done it. He has beaten Pergish and he is through to the quarterfinals. I mean, Bakash, what a player. I mean, he's had.